So, in my last video, I put together my first condenser microphone circuit. You can see when I don't talk, it's uh, relatively smooth there. And uh, when I do talk, we have spikes right there. So, this is at 10 millivolts. So, I'm not sure how you can see that. But uh, in any case, not going to go over this circuit too much right now. There is the condenser microphone. These alligator clips are the oscilloscope. So one side to ground. And then we got uh, this one to that side of that capacitor. So the condenser micro, uh, microphone. We got a couple of jumpers here. And the way to tell which side goes to negative. All the ones that I've seen. They got some connection point there to the uh, body right here. And that goes to ground. Zero volt reference point. And then uh, this goes to the positive side. The one that's just the pin right there. So that's just a quick review. And this capacitor just kind of smooth things out. That's a 10 nanofarad capacitor. And I don't usually see that included on schematics that I looked at. Here's a 10 kilo ohm resistor to basically power everything and then this is a 0.1 microfarad capacitor come in there come into the oscilloscope so 0.1 microfarad the same as a hundred nanofarad so 10 times the capacitance of that one so capacitors when they charge current goes in one direction when they discharge it goes in the other direction so we're charging and discharging this capacitor so that current changes directions you get an alternating current and that's why as far as the oscilloscope is concerned, it's bouncing above and below the uh, zero volts. So zero volts is that point there. So we got negative and then positive. What we're gonna do now is amplify this. So this is 10 millivolts right there, and the uh, capacitor here has to even out. So it's working its way down. I'm gonna grab this jumper, it's obnoxiously long and I need to assort my jumpers but in any case we're gonna go to the base of this NPN bipolar junction transistor right there so it's 2N3904 middle pin is the uh, base so there you can see that uh, the uh, lines are a lot larger now so by the way we're using 5 volts from this 5 volt power supply right there so let's Change this. Hopefully you can see that 10 MV for millivolts and we're going to uh, that lowered it. We're going to that's a uh, per division here. So 50 millivolts per division. Now it's 0.1 volt per division. So there's uh, 10 of those 10 millivolts in one square now. So when you look at the line now it looks uh, pretty close in size to what it was at the uh, 10 millivolts before we added our amplifier here so I think you would properly call this a pre-amplifier so in this video I'm going to call it my first pre-amplifier because I have not built one of these until now so it's doing a lot of the uh, same thing again we have a capacitor we're using a DC power supply but thanks to the capacitor the other side of the capacitor being the output which the oscilloscope is measuring we're getting an alternating current to do that we have to make it so the transistor is basically conducting all the time so I'm gonna pop this uh, jumper away we are using a voltage divider to do that and right now I'm gonna set the uh, voltage to 1 volt and we can get rid of the capacitor but we're coming up to the collector here so flat side you can see the voltage went up flat side is to the right emitters at the bottom base in the middle that's where these two resistors are they're a voltage divider resistor uh, base in the middle I mean and then collector on top you can see flat side there so a collector that's a 10 kilo ohm resistor right there and just in case I forget this uh, middle resistor which is going to the positive rail is 5.6 K so they use the K for the decimal point so that uh, you don't miss that there's a decimal point there sometimes they're hard to see so 5.6 K 5600 and the uh, other resistor 
to the negative rail part of the voltage divisor voltage divider is 1k right there 1 kilo ohm and that's what I needed to do to get it to hold 3 volts as you can see there so 5 volt power supply and there's uh, 3 volts across the transistor thanks to the current that is going through so that's called biasing the transistor where you set a voltage when it's not uh, doing anything you set a voltage as an output and uh, so it should be 2.5 volts but I couldn't find the exact uh, value resistors I think I actually did at one time for the values I had but uh, in any case I got to 3 I've been spending most of the day on this so I uh, now I'm happy enough with 3 and as you can see in this video it seemed to do okay and uh, so that voltage divider that goes to the base the middle pin and so that's how you bias it you get it to uh, keep conducting and so we got 3 volts but now when I come to the other side of the capacitor and I think it will be uh, yeah it's already set sometimes the uh, capacitor already has a voltage on it and it takes a little while to even out so this is a 1 million ohm oscilloscope so now we'll put the capacitor in and you're going to see that uh, the voltage went down and now it's coming up so the way we had it charged it had the uh, reverse voltage so we are over here that's the negative side of the capacitor and this is uh, I believe a 2.2 yeah 2.2 microfarad maybe we can see that it's uh, polarized so it's upside down but yeah it's polarized there we go 2.2 microfarad that side has to be more negative and uh, we already saw that we got 3 volts at that point with no signal and then as I said before now we got the uh, positive voltage as uh, we said before, the uh, current is going through the oscilloscope. It's got about a million ohms of resistance coming back to the negative rail right there. And uh, let's uh, let's quickly check this. Make sure it's actually positive. Yep, there we go. It's in the positive region. So looked a little awkward at first. But uh, there we go. As I said before, these are polarized. You don't want to reverse charge them. So when you wire something up, if you're not sure if it's being charged in the right direction, I recommend uh, measuring it. So, in any case, again, this is my first pre-amplifier circuit. This is not, the signal is not strong enough to power something directly, and neither is our amplified signal. It's got like 0.1 volt. So we should amplify it again and I should get better at making these so it works better but there you can see the voltage divider to the middle pin the base right there hopefully you can see that and uh, that's uh, really about it we got this one up there to the collector so that is what's actually charging the capacitor but some of the current 10 kilo ohm resistor is also going through the transistor to hold about 3 volts there again should be about 2.5 so Again, this is a new circuit to me. I didn't study it terribly hard. I've read uh, over it a few times over the years. But uh, in any case, hopefully it's still an okay circuit. Of course, people that know it better will build a better one. But check out some of these other videos. Make sure you subscribe and uh, click the bell to get updates. And I will see you in the next video.